There are five major money milestones you must achieve in your 20s, but most people don't. By the age of 30, the average net worth is negative $1,000, yet financial experts at Fidelity suggest having saved at least one times your salary, which for the average American at this age is $45,000. It's time to reveal these vital milestones to make sure you achieve them. Let's see how far you've already got. First up, the top priority is paying off debt. Take a look at this image, showing the types of debt among various age groups. For those aged 20 to 30, the most common forms of debt are mortgages, student loans, auto loans, and credit card debt. To be clear, some debt, such as a low-interest mortgage, is a great way to build home equity and enter the property market. But other debts like auto loans, credit cards, and student loans can be detrimental in the long run if not handled correctly. The average student debt in the U.S. in 2022 was $37,500 at time of graduation. Check out this graph that shows the time it takes to fully repay student debt based on the initial amount. With an average debt of $37,500, it takes about 20 years for the average person to pay it off completely. So, if someone graduates at 23, it will take them until they're 43 to be debt-free. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so this won't be you. The goal in your 20s should be to pay down as much student debt as possible and avoid accumulating credit card debt during this period. On average, those between 20 and 30 carry about $3,300 in credit card debt, often due to living beyond their means and experiencing lifestyle inflation, which can be a dangerous cycle if not controlled. After becoming debt-free, except for your mortgage, the next financial priority is establishing an emergency fund. Did you know 57% of adults are uncomfortable with the amount of emergency fund they have, while 22% have no emergency savings whatsoever? These funds play a vital role in covering unforeseen expenses such as medical bills, car repairs, and home repairs. Typically, a good emergency fund should amount to three to six months worth of living expenses. Expenses. Considering that the average monthly living expenses for a single person in 2022 was $3,700, your target should be to save between $11,000 and $22,000 as an emergency fund. Once you've successfully established an emergency fund, it's time to create a well-structured savings plan. Use online tools like Mint.com, PersonalCapital.com, or You Need a Budget to monitor your monthly expenditure. This provides a clear breakdown of how your money is spent on needs and wants. Review your list of needs for potential cutbacks. If rent is too high, consider downsizing. If your food expenses are excessive, try swapping eating out for cooking at home. In your 20s, aim to minimize spending and avoid lifestyle inflation. When you receive your paycheck, allocate a significant portion to your savings account. The average savings rate is 3-5% to of take-home pay, but I believe you should aim for a more ambitious 15-20% to savings rate. It's achievable with some work, but not so high that you can't still enjoy your life. Now that you have a solid monthly saving routine, it's time to start investing. The reason you want to invest your money instead of leaving it in a savings account is to make a better return on the money. The average savings account in the U.S. offers a dismal 0.46% interest rate. Some online banks offer better returns, but these are still lower than the most popular investment benchmark, the S&P 500, which has historically averaged around 10.7% annually since its inception in 1957. When it comes to investing, there's two crucial accounts to focus on, the Roth IRA and the 401k. A Roth IRA is an individual retirement account where you can deposit your after-tax salary, invest it, and take out the profits tax-free when you retire. You can open a Roth IRA with any major brokerage. The government limits how much you can contribute to keep this superpower in check. If you're under 50, it's $6,500 annually, and if you're over 50, you get a $7,500 allowance. Most major companies offer it as part of their benefits. You get to invest a portion of your pre-tax income into a 401k account, and the company usually throws in a matching contribution up to a certain percentage. As of 2023, you can stash away a whopping $22,500 annually in your 401k. Now, on to the exciting part. Once you've got your Roth IRA, 401k, or any private brokerage accounts ready, you get to choose where to invest your money. And here's a pro tip. Go for diverse index funds covering a diverse range of asset classes like cash, equities, fixed income, and more. For instance, if you pick an S&P 500 index fund, you're essentially investing in a piece of the 500 largest U.S. companies. Here are some of my favorite index fund options. Now that you have a solid investment plan, it's time to start building your credit score. A credit score is a number between 300 and 850, representing how likely you are to pay off debt on time and in full. By your late 20s, aim for a credit score above 750. 
Credit scores are adjusted as you borrow money through various forms such as credit cards, auto loans, student debt, and mortgages. The top five factors influencing your credit score in order of importance include payment history, amounts owed, length of credit history, new credit, and types of credit. A higher credit score leads to better rates on future credit and easier approvals for significant commitments like mortgages or investment loans. Boosting your credit score is simple. Pay off your debts promptly, keep your credit cards open for as long as possible, diversify the types of credit you use, and do this consistently. One essential point to note is that the purpose of taking on this debt isn't to squander money on extravagant items like fancy clothes and dining out. The goal is to use your credit for things you can already afford with cash, like groceries or fuel for your car. At the end of the month, comfortably pay off the balance, proving to lenders that you're a responsible individual who knows how to manage credit wisely. So there you have the five financial milestones to reach by 30, check out this video next.